Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first annual Immersive Technology Summit. Hope you all made it here well and safe. I know Los Angeles is uh, not really known for its clear traffic. Uh, usually it's known for its clear weather, but uh, unfortunately it cleared up today more than yesterday. Uh, so why are we gathered here today? We're gathered here to discuss immersive technology, which is a personal passion of mine. I find it really cool. Um, anybody who grew up on movies such as Lawnmower Man, Tron, uh, or recent movies such as The Matrix, I think, would really just enjoy today's program, some of the exhibits and concepts that will be discussed. So why uh, does immersive technology exist? Now, I, I believe life is largely about communication and experience, and technology is really a way for us to facilitate that communication and experience with one another. Um, technology serves as a way for us to immerse ourselves in other people's thoughts and experience, and we can see this progression over human history. As we developed, as we moved from uh, writing to pictures, to still pictures, from still pictures to black and white uh, to color pictures, and then moving from black and white movie to color movies and so forth, there's, this, there's been this evolution of continually being a uh, higher resolution of the artist's imagination communicated to us. So uh, simply as sound has moved from mono to stereo to surround, we see this trend also happening in vision. Vision moving from uh, mono, if you consider it, uh, black and white, to a color format, to a 3D format, and then to a 3D, 360 degree format uh, eventually. So anyways, we have a great program lined up today. Uh, I'm gonna introduce uh, our MC and co-host, Ken Wachowski. Thank you. Hi everyone, good morning. Thanks a lot for making the trek out to LA Center Studios. The team, Harold, Nathan, the guys here have put on an amazing program today, and it certainly gives you the opportunity to take a peek at where things are going. So it's broken up into several different categories throughout the day. We're going to be talking about collaboration. After collaboration, we're going to be looking at what's going on with applications. Then after that, it's innovation, and then, of course, finishing off with vision, and then a big party later on tonight working with Mindshare. So expect to be here all day. Hopefully, you wear your most comfortable shoes, or just take them off. Um, it's interactive also, so understand every event you go to, and this is really important, there has to be an ROI to the event that you go to. So whatever time, money, effort you're here, think about that dollar amount. Let's just say it's going to cost you $1,000 or $1,500 today. You need to get a 10x return today. You have to find a way to make $15,000 in just being here today, and that means finding out who's here investing in these ideas that you'll see today. Because you're, giving it, you're getting an opportunity to see what's gonna happen tomorrow, and not short-term tomorrow. It could be really close, or long-term tomorrow. It's really short-term tomorrow. Have, who here has seen the movie uh, Social Networking? Shame on you if you haven't. Because something has happened with that movie, and that is, that was only a few years ago. It was only a few years where we've seen these kids turn into billionaires with an idea. And in theory, I heard this morning, it was an idea all over a love affair. He was rejected. And a lot of times, a lot of these great creations have come, have come out of rejections. Rejections of not seeing what was evident in front of them. And they go into these new worlds, these new concepts, and, and project them into these 3D worlds and this new immersive vision. So empower yourself today. Find that ROI. Meet the person that's next to you. Invest into what they're doing and take this whole concept of what the immersive tech gang has put together and take it to the next level. So they put a great panel together. I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of the speakers. Um, our first speaker who comes to us from Portland, uh, I always like finding out what makes somebody tick. And um, what makes her tick is really, I kind of twisted it, she likes to empower humans. Well, as you started, you said the matrix, which was all around using humans as power. She <laughs> kind of flipped it around. Uh, she has come to us from uh, Ghana. She's been in Singapore. She speaks on panels all around the world, and she really knows how to help people empower their creative side, and she focuses on helping women out, too. So let's bring Jody up. Come on up. 